Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Eric, and I thought today we would talk about head gaskets. And how do you know if it's a blown head gasket or something else, and how to diagnose along the way? channel my name is Eric and I thought today we kind of go into not really deep but enough on head gaskets how often do they have problems and what are the typical ways to diagnose them well you've got two different style head gasket issues and that's internal and external and what's the difference between the two well external a lot of times you can hear it puffing making a ticking noise and when you shut it off, it kind of, you can hear the air passing by it. That's considered external. Internal is where it's going and putting pressure back down into the base. And a lot of times it'll either come out in your oil, your muffler. Uh, and a lot of people would say, well, that's bad rings, right? A wiper ring or piston rings it can be both but the big thing with the head gasket folks is this here gotta be perfectly smooth all right and then we take which they come in all different shapes and sizes depending on the motor you have that you want to make sure this is perfectly clean but a lot of times we've seen in there's also two different types of engines. You have the liquid cooled and the air cooled. The liquid cooled will actually suck the radiator fluid in and it'll drain your overflow tube on the mower. Usually a, usually a John Deere. Because they have the external jars where you just fill it up, the overflow. And a lot of times we'll get what they call a wash on a liquid cooled. If it's an external. If it's external, it's going to find a spot in that head gasket that is bad. And a lot of times you'll see where it actually, I've seen it where it ruined heads by running it too long. It would take it right down so it wasn't salvageable. You have to buy another head to go onto your unit. If it's internal, you'll actually start smelling antifreeze burning in your exhaust so what's the best route anyways when it comes to head gaskets head gaskets don't overcomplicate them guys all you have to do is just take all your bolts out your head bolts bring this out make sure this is all scraped down get it cleaned up a little bit of emery if you have to but if it's really pitted or it's got a, a ridge in it throw it away and get another one. They're not that expensive. There's a lot of used ones on eBay that you can buy. And then once you find the correct head gasket for your unit, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to put that head gasket on and bolt it down. But you wanna make sure that you know the torque settings on each head bolt. Because each engine is different. And a lot of times you can go online and find out the torque specs. So what we do is we torque them down once. And then let it run a little bit. And then we torque them, make, re -torque them to make sure that they are all torqued down to the correct specs. Or pounds per square inch. It's, is it worth fixing an engine that has a bonehead gasket? Absolutely. It's, it's more common than you think. And a lot of times it gets misdiagnosed and the engine is scrapped because they think that they're gonna have to do a complete engine overhaul when that's your culprit. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next video.